hold on. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Somebody said it's still November. Hey, it's between Thanksgiving and Christmas. You get the Christmas music, like it or not. Address your complaints to Karen at NASA HR. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't, you don't want to talk to her. Hey, welcome, everybody. It's Tuesday night. We've got a debate, a flat earth debate with Ryan. A guy. It's not the Ryan you're thinking of. You've not met this Ryan before. Uh, he is currently, uh, oh, he's connecting right now, it looks like. Um, he is, uh, we're not going to see him. I have, I have stuff ready so we can look at, it. just look at that. Look how nice that is. You can see, you can see the chat. You can see Ryan over there with the, the space pizza. It's all going to be good. Um, <laughs> so we've got earlier, we got Dave Kirsch, Kirscher, uh, with a GLHF. Um, I don't know what that is. Super sticker, but thank you for that. And then. FDFE says Karen's been replaced by Liam, the intern. It's a nightmare. Um, Liam, the intern, I'm sure is is a, an absolute nightmare. All right, Ryan, are you uh, are you there yet? Um, should uh, he's connected, but the audio isn't on yet. So we'll we'll see how uh, if he can get that going here. So, uh, all right, I did get Stan Trucker sent me a package. Stan, Stan, if you're there, I got it. It's right there right there i will uh I'll, I'll open it up um in the the third stream tonight the um the call-in show the call-in show will be it will be the third um so if you're interested if you want to just call and say hi uh, for just a few minutes you, you need to get uh, like i'm gonna maybe set a timer i think so um and between this one which we're still waiting for ryan to connect and the call-in show is is a it's i think i'm really looking looking forward to it it's a conversation between myself and david and i don't and i want to get the, wrong, the last name wrong de hisler i think and he's um he's he doesn't agree with relativity it's not a flat earther but he thinks there's something else and it's not aether either so whatever it is we will find out i don't quite know what it is he hello has, he has a bunch of, oh, hey ryan how you doing all right here we are good how are you i'm great i'm great so all right all right. Uh, so there, people are wondering: Are you the Ryan that that is uh, the Ryan uh, Casey? You're, you're not Ryan Casey. That that's the guy that says we don't say tan. And he's on. Nope, he's, I'm not Ryan Casey. And uh, due to unforeseen circumstances at my house, I wasn't able to get the video um, that we talked about. But um, I was trying to look on my history there. Eric Dubé has a very simple video about the being on the shore and seeing the ship go out um, to sea and then um, zooming in and it coming back into um, into view from the very bottom to the top of the ship, the whole thing. So, so for, uh, for the I'll audience, try and look for that and send it. If I can, if for the audience, I can, if I can review, we were talking, Ryan wanted to talk on the phone before we had the, the debate. So we did yesterday. And um, he he said that there is, and let me try to get this uh, described correctly, a video of a, of a boat going, a ship, like a large one, going out, getting obstructed bottom up progressively, the, the hull, midship, and then where you just the tip is, is visible, and then it's completely blocked by the horizon, and then it zooms in, and you see the entire ship again, right? Correct. Correct. All right. Well, that, that is... That is the elusive claim that I've heard many times, <laughs> but never once produced. And I've seen all of Eric's videos and haven't seen that one. So, okay. Um, and corrections 101. I yes, knew you were going to say exactly. something like that. That's funny. All right. Hold on. <laughs> just go, go ahead with the show. I've, I've got the, the video here. I'm going to just send it go over ahead. to your email here. In a go second. ahead with the show. All right. Well, I, I suppose I could set up, I'll set up the stream. Um, oh, okay. So PC go. Tony said for uh, GLHF is G is good luck. Have fun. Thank you for that translation. Now I know what GLHF stands for. Um, so we're going to need, you're going to want to have a, a video showing. Let me get this ready for, for everybody here. Um, do it like that. Do it like this. Did it with a wiffle ball bat. So I'm on the run. The cops got my gun. Uh, right about now, it's time to have some. I should not be quoting Beastie Boys at this time. Should I? I got it. 
you you got you got the the video yep i'm pasting it to your um email right now all right the, that was the easy. elusive video where it's i, I just want to be sure we're going to be obstructed bottom up um okay and then let me preface something something else with that so um, what I actually clipped, because after we spoke, I was looking for, you know, some more info. Um, and I got an article from the Time magazine from 1945 that basically stated that um, how we can see further when the air is thinner or there's less humidity. And, you know, higher altitudes, you can see further because there's less uh, water in the air, there's less humidity. And um, it was just giving different numbers for the ability to see far. Um, and then it had the um, horizon distance at 2.9 miles. And basically at 2.9 miles, objects begin to be obscured and disappear from the bottom up because of the curve of the earth. And you know, modern technology has completely destroyed that. Um, so that would be the first thing. It's quite obvious that our eyes could only see 2.9 miles. Whoa, hold on it disappears. If our eyes can only see 2.9 miles, then the sun must be closer than 2.9 miles. Because we can I don't see know, the sun. I didn't... No, no, no. Well, remember what I said first, though, that the water in the air, just like you can't see to the bottom of the ocean, no matter how clear it is, the deeper it gets, the less you can see down further, right? Yeah. So there's gonna be more water in between me and the object I'm observing. Obviously the sun is massive and it's way up in the sky. How high, I don't know. Um, so and there's no moisture when you get there's a lot less moisture the higher you get, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the air is much drier. Okay. So if, if stating we can only see 2.9 miles because of the curve of the earth, then how come we could take a camera and zoom in much further than that? So do you have to move the goalpost or? No, is no. It... It, you just need to use the appropriate, complete, not partial uh, application of the model, right? Um, okay, but, so at 2.9 miles, why can we still see with a uh, zoom camera? How come we can see further than that over the ocean? And it still should be obscured no matter how far that telescope or whatever can zoom in, right? It should still be obscured at 2.9 miles if things are disappearing because of the, the curvature, correct? Well, or I don't want to give no, you, I know what you're No, not, No, not at all. All right, so so how far into this video do we see the ship? I'm kind of scrubbing across and looking for where the ship is. Um, oh, somewhere oh, around halfway. I don't see a ship anywhere. Yeah, it's just right there. Stop. Right there. That looks no, like a... not there. It's, it's when you saw the buoy. It's right where the buoy. You could see the ship going and and driving around the buoy. There. Right. And and then it, he zooms out. And you can't see anything. Right. OK, so so but where's the is, where's the ship? All right. Stop there. I, it, I believe it's right around the buoy. So it's right there. There's a buoy. OK. I see the buoy, but where's the ship? <laughs> Either way, even if it's a buoy, you still but there should be a ship somewhere around there, but. You know, I should have gave you the exact point in the video, but if you zoom out, the, the buoy disappears. Yeah, but Why it did it disappear? It didn't disappear bottom up. Let's go back to this. It, yeah, well, hold look, on. Let's get, it, the, let's get the buoy abs- real close. Let's get... It disappeared bottom up for sure. Okay, so look there's... Look as it goes back. So there's the buoy, yep. not obstructed yep. by the horizon. It, the horizon is behind Correct. it. Correct. Right? And then we go a little farther. <laughs> right? Same. Jumped a little too far. So same. We still see the buoy. With the horizon behind it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it went off screen. There it is. Still. There it is. Yep. Horizon behind it. Okay. Horizon behind it. Now it's zooming out and it's getting smaller. Okay. You can see the horizon is still behind it. Hold hold on. It's got to be. It's very fast when he zooms out. So if you look closely, it does disappear from the bottom up. Go ahead. The horizon is still behind it. 
this point. And it's still visible. Nothing is but has been okay, obstructed bottom hurt. up. Okay, keep going. Okay. okay, still, it's just small. The bottom of it's gone now. The bottom of it's gone now. It's just small, Ryan. It's That's just why small. we got to get a ship. But it's it's yeah. Why didn't you get a ship? Continue. It's okay. Well, well, hold on. I, I because I can't. I didn't get you the right part in the video. But as you can see, it's okay. like half of the buoy now. No, it's 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 just smaller. Everything's just gotten smaller. That's it. It's just it's just gotten smaller. Keep going. All right, all right. There you go. Now it's just gotten smaller. It disappears. So, no, 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 it's no. Too Keep going. Small. It disappears it, from the bottom. No, it, it's still what? you can. It's you can what? still see that it's it's the small. point of it. It's right blurry. Wall. You could see the point of it, but the water, the horizon has moved up closer to us. No, it has Absolutely. You can look at it. I mean, first of all, we're using a buoy. Second yeah, get, of all, where's you need the something ship? bigger. Where's the, yeah, where's okay, the Okay, well, it's in the it's, video. You're, it's like, this is six pixels. We're looking at six pixels. Do you have a ship? All right, I'll scroll. You say there's a ship. There's a, here's a, this, uh, this is like land, it looks like. All right. It's in. I mean, you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm going to find it. You're going to have to do better, man. You got to keep going. Keep going. I'm going back. Okay, there's there's a description of vanishing point. Yeah, that that's robot. That's pretty. That, that's pretty simple. That do, it doesn't actually work that way, but uh, all right. I, I mean, Ro, Robotham, he tried, but he didn't actually use any physics behind it. Oh. <laughs> well, right, I just I just want to make sure I this is clear. You're this is no, debate. This is from somebody else, right? You said you had somebody. You else. said you had uh, maybe something you did. I did. I did. I could not get that. I, I've got, you know, a lot of things going on with work. I right. could not oh, yeah. get it. I looked it's for all right. it. It's all right. But... All right. I, I mean, you're not the first to not have it. Is this blue, people? Is this blue? You see my the mason jar that I have? The ball mason jar? Is it bluish? Looks blue to me. It's a new mason jar. I, I'm showing it off. Hold on. You, you don't have to look. Yeah, the, the... This is the, the live chat here. I'm asking <laughs> Because okay. I've become a connoisseur of mason sharks for some reason. Oh, it's teal. It's green. It's bluish. Looks green here. Looks blue to me. Turquoise, blue, green. It's pretty. Okay, let's go with pretty. Greenish. I don't know. It, the, it, the toon shine tastes the same, by the way. I mean, it really begs the question as to what proof is there that water curves over the surface in large bodies. You said you were going to have that. So oh, let's, yes. let's see that before we bust let's, on me. Let's do that. All right. Well, how about this? Let's can see I the add proof you, of that. Can I add you to the list of people that promises to send me the video and then doesn't send the video of the ship getting obstructed bottom up and then being unobstructed. Not yet. You so, got it. You got to at least give me to the uh, the end of the evening due to unforeseen circumstances. Right, and then you right. have to promise to put it on your channel afterwards. I, I will. I keep looking, and I tell you, I've I've debated a few people, and they're like, "Hold on, I, I'll send it to you." But I know it's the elusive, the elusive. If you, if anybody's watched Oak Island, it's the same thing. They're like, hey, "This is I'm gonna dig the next hole." And then the next hole, we're going to find the hidden treasure. And then you get to the bottom of that hole. You're like, oh, yeah, that's it's right. It's too some, easy. I teed you up. It's just some it. dirt. Yes, I teed you up. You, you, you're, you're a tease. Teed you're you just up, a yes. tease. All right, hold on. Let me. <laughs> um. All right. So first, uh, let's let's go. Let's let's so that we're clear what what it is that that you that that we're going to that we you, we want, right? Okay. I got some paper here. We're going to start with a brand new piece of paper. I got I got my ruler. All right. And I got my permanent my my Sharpie that's the wrong color. Look at that. It's you nobody's going to see that. Why well, somebody came and took my Sharpie. But I do have a pen, a proper pen, so I'm going to use that. Um <clears throat> Tomato Girl Zumi says, curious, were your mason jars free? In fact, this mason jar was free. Um, we have become the recipient of a large collection of used um, mason jars from a lady that's no longer with us. And her farm has gone to, I think, her grandson or great-grandson, who happens to be a friend of my kid. And they're going out there. They're hunting deer. He got a deer last weekend. And um, 
And no, none of you can have the venison. I already asked for it all. Anyway, so these were in the in the house used many years ago, and that's how I'm getting them. So all right. So you've heard the formula, and this is the one time the formula is the right formula. What is that formula? For the for Earth curve. And I do I'm have supposed to answer curve. that one? Yeah, because it's the one formula that flat earthers know about Earth curve. Oh, yeah. Uh, I used to study this and know this like the back of my hand. What's it? It's not eight inches per mile squared. It's uh, yeah, yeah. It's eight inches per mile squared. Yeah, it is. So all right, there you go. All right, here is here is on this. Here's the surface of the Earth. We've got two points. What? Whoa, are, whoa! What's this? What's I'm, this? I'm, I'm doing a diagram. This is this is, is the necessity. Is this your proof? Point. No, this is this is this is, your proof? We're going over the necessary geometry. Just so that so that we're we're on the same page. Right? Oh. Yeah. I, I just thought you were gonna show me the experiment. What what do we I will. discuss? We I, discuss I will. the experiment yeah, or we're the going, observation. We're, yeah, we're going okay. over we're going over the, 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 the geometry we're, behind it first. All right, let all me right. there we go. Okay, now I can see it there. The, all oh, right, go and, ahead. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Um and so the the what this is the one time the formula is correct. So, uh, so that line there it is is the uh, this one line here. This is vertical for that point on the surface of a globe, right? It's vertical there. This line here is vertical there, and this is horizontal. It's orthogonal to this line. Okay. Wait. So we're, we're okay. Right? Okay. This is just just the geometry now. The intersection, right? But you're between, assuming it's it's one way. I was just asking for the proof. That's an assumption of something. No, and, no this this is well, this is simply the the geometry of it. That's all we're doing is going over the geometry, right? So that when we look you're at doing the, actual, the geometry of of a globe, I'm talking about yeah. sitting bodies of water. Yes, so I'm not yeah, quite sure. Absolutely, I'm, and I'm getting there. Don't try to get to step seventy three when I'm on step three. All right, so step three here or whatever. You got your vertical. You got your horizontal. This other point here, um, when so so this distance, this elevation here, right? Let's just call that five feet. Let's say. Right? So let's say that this is five feet above the surface of the Earth, and let's say it's water, right? Because because if the Earth is a globe, then water must curve, right? Yes, so, exactly. So let's yeah. say that's five feet. Now, if you go over to this other point here and you measure up five feet on a globe, it's going to be different. I'm actually going to measure it, make sure I get the right. It's not actually five feet. There it is. So this is worse than my buoy. <laughs> this is this is just the the geometry of it. So. So this mark I here, hear, hear. this mark here is five yeah. feet above uh -huh. this surface there. So there's, if uh, there's going to be a drop, that's the that's the formula is the drop. Let me, let me draw the difference. Well, or just okay, yeah. All right. So there it is. There. So if you're at five feet on one side, oh, I didn't put that. You got five feet on the other side. So if you if you take something that's five feet above the surface of water at one side, right here, and five feet above yeah, but the it surface all of water on this side, how far these are, how far these two are apart? Of course, it the, matters the, the how amount far of these two are apart. Yeah, that's where the formula comes in. The eight inches per right. mile squared, right, is an approximation. Right. It's good enough. It's good enough for. But this is drop, not bottom up obstruction. There's there are different formulas for that. Of course. Right. Okay. So. At, at when you're looking across a surface of water, if you take and you put a mark five feet above here, or you, you put your viewing position, right? Like a telescope or a camera or, a, you know, an auto level or something five feet above the surface of the water here. And then you put a target five feet above the surface of the water here. Right. If the earth is flat, when you look across it, then they'll line up. And if the earth is a curve, then this will drop. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's just the that's just the geometry. So if we get a, a high quality, high precision, 
device that can that can be level that you can be certain is level at this position and you set a target over here that's at the same elevation then you can know whether or not the surface of the water is convex there's our mm -hmm. test okay i just want to make sure right that that would we have we we have an understanding of the geometry um and then it's pretty simplistic yeah I, I, it is yeah if I mean, it drops then the surface of water is convex if it doesn't drop then the surface of water is not that's ass assuming that you're looking you're on the edge of the water and looking over the water itself absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. so you'd want to be certain that you're five feet above the water so you'd want to use a you know some some very precise measuring instruments to make sure that you're above that by the okay. right amount right all right that's okay. elementary so tell me what who's done this where is this where right. has this been done i got it it's been done a few times so i will get them and i'm still sh yeah you're still sharing so i want to make sure i get the right one there's a there's a couple and okay there it is awesome so here is here we go this you're gonna love this this will this will tell us whether or not you're looking for a truth if you're a truth seeker or if you are if you have just have kind of a religious position about this this was done by Jesse. yeah i used to i used to believe we lived on a ball i never had never even questioned it yeah so, so i mean so so this got will, nothing to do with religion yeah, since you agreed, in fact, the opposite. <laughs> yes, since since you agreed about the the geometry of it, this is this is where we this is where we just go out and test it, right? So this is Jesse Kozlowski. He's a licensed surveyor, and he he did a a test just like I described. So I'll go through what he did. He oh, found, so he's going to a a piece of land that doesn't work. Sorry, this that is, doesn't work. This is on water. That doesn't work. You can't do it okay, on water. Okay, if he's he's looking like he's got two pieces of land in between, there's. The other side, is he going to a piece of land on the other side? Again, you're jumping ahead. Just, 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 I'm back. not, I'm just I sit see back where and relax. At. Just sit back and relax and, and watch this here, right? So we've got position one, okay. two, position three, four there, right? They're right uh -huh. both on the edge of a Union Lake in Millville, New Jersey. It's, all right, you see that? Here is the water. The edge of the water. So he went right to the edge there and he set up this this uh, level on there. Right. Gotcha. OK. And he measured from right there, from the surface of the water up to the top of, of this piece of wood. Measured that. And he set up it. And uh, all right. So I jumped over a few, few things here and I'm not going to read all the details here, but he sets up so that he's right above the surface of the water with that target. You see that target there? That's got a, uh, this is a specifically. Yeah, but they're on serving. land. It doesn't work. It's on land. Sorry, it doesn't oh, but, work. Oh, right. You missed the they're part. on here. land. All right. Do you see right here? Right here. Do you see that? Yeah, they're on land. Doesn't work. Is this water? No. The, the, is is this water, Ryan? There. Is this water? Whether or not it's water, it doesn't matter if it's air underneath. You're getting two different pieces of land, and they can be a different heights just like a sea level can be uh, 10 feet above but, sea level or 100 feet but here's what you're missing he measured the elevation <laughs> he he measured the elevation of the target above doesn't the work water. sorry that's the, above that's, ryan that's, above no, the water work above the water ryan above the water not above the land above the water he measured the height of the target above what the water not the land right He's so on the, two pieces of land. Each no, side is on two pieces of land. Yeah, but he's above the water, Ryan. Now he's not measuring against the land. He's measuring against the water. Now here's where we find out if you're honest. Is it... he, he's measuring above the water. He's not measuring above the land. He's referencing to the water. Okay. One thousand two hundred eighty uh, above the the water there. The t yeah, when you're going to the shore, the topography can be much different from one piece of the shore to the other. That does not. What was the what was the variance? What was the, the difference? Wait, the topography of the How much? water. How much does the water well, topography the change? Not the topography of the water, but uh, and, the land underneath. But he's, the, so land, the land underneath the water. 
He's not measuring against he's right the on land. The sh- he's measuring right against the shore. All right, I'll me- I'll show you again. He's-, he's measuring against the water. Do you see this? It's on screen right now. He's yeah, but you know where against he's at. The water. He's at a little pocket where there's. It's like three inches of water there. Does the surface of the water, when it's only three inches deep, not match curve or flatness? When it's low enough, you can. Yeah, absolutely. You can have a puddle somewhere, and somewhere else it could be deep, and they can be at different heights. Absolutely. Does that We're look talking like, about the ocean here. Does that look like a We're puddle? talking about is, is this a It puddle? looks like about 4 inches. It looks like about 2 inches of water right okay, there is where this, he's at. All right, that's fine. Is this a puddle? Look at where he's at. Is this a puddle, Ryan? That is not a legitimate proof. Is this, at is this all. a puddle? That's not even close. Ryan, is that's this a puddle? That's not even close. Ryan, is this a puddle? You said oh. a puddle. Is this a puddle? Yeah, it is. I want to see the bottom. Let me see the bottom where he's at. Keep going this, down. I want to be sure you you said Keep this. It's down. right on screen. I is can't this... see where he's at. All I can see is I Ryan. can't see. I don't know. You're not showing me. Is this a puddle? You're not showing me the bottom. Can I see I'll the bottom? I'll show you the bottom. I'll show you the top first. Just to, is is what you're looking at here a puddle? Yes or no? Out in the in the in the middle of the the lake, of course not. Okay. And now but that where part's he's measuring, connected. I'm talking about. And oh look at that. Where he's and measuring. Keep going is, down. Is Keep that going connected? Down. No, is he's that... on land. No, he's not on land. No. No. That's not no. legitimate. I mean there there are there are right it's not now, legitimate. Just so you know, Ryan, there's 400 people watching you be dishonest. It's, I'm not being dishonest. I think the, the experiment's dishonest to prove what you said you were going to prove. I said sitting he's, bodies of water in yes. a convex shape over the surface. What's yep, the variance? So he's, he's measuring from What's, the surface of the water, much? Ryan, exactly what okay, you wanted. Let's, how much is exactly, the curve? Let's just go with pr- you. No, no, no. I'm not going to go any farther. Because it's pointless I'm, to go any farther since you've already rejected measuring the surface of the water as measuring the surface of the water. It's not the water. He's, well, he's how not. Is this look at where he's standing it. It's touching the surface of the water, Ryan. It's not touching the bottom of the water. It's not touching the ground underneath the water. That me- That ruler is going to the surface of the water. He's using the water as the datum. Not the ground. Just the and where's water. the other side? Let me see the other side. We'll get to that. And he did the same thing on the other side, just so you know. Let's see it. All right. All right. As soon as you, I, there's, it's pointless to go any farther until you are honest and 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 acknowledge it's, that he's measuring from okay. the surface it's of the water. It's pointless to go any further unless I could see all aspects of the experiment. Period. Okay. I need to see all the experiment Absolutely. before I can say anything. Absolutely. Well, How but, could well, I say anything? Well, then why were you... Well, Ryan, you jumped in before I got to the end of the description. You were the one that wanted to interrupt my description before you saw all of it. So now, do you want to see all of it and then talk about it? Or do you want to have me go over piecemeal and then you interrupt piecemeal? Which one? We'll do one or the other. You can't you can't start on one and then demand to go to the other one. That's a little <laughs> suspicious, right? I, if you want, I will gladly go through the entirety of it, and then you can write down your questions and we can. It's not everyone. that hard. It's really just I want to see one point, then the other point, and I want to see what the what the data is that he got from it. Okay. That's it. But but you've already said that measuring from the surface of the water doesn't count as measuring from the surface of the water. Measuring from a puddle in a depression next to the the, the shore there is Wait, a little sketchy. I, is I mean, all we I'm have four hundred people. It, it, we have five hundred and sixty four people right now seeing that you call this a puddle in a depression. You know, it kind of looks that way, and I'm skeptical of these. Ryan, these, this is a very nuanced. Ryan, 570 um, people now are watching you call this a puddle the and a depression. To the, crowd, the appeal to the crowd and the majority is not going to win any scientific arguments. So you're going to have oh, to go oh no. through the whole thing. Denial is the problem here, Ryan. But that's fine. All right, let's keep going. I will tell you, I've write down your question. Yet. Write down your questions. I've denied nothing yet. Right, There's been nothing que- denied. Ryan. I'm, I'm inquisitive of, of the source okay. uh, and, and the data that I'm getting. All right. And I write haven't got anything your- but one picture. All right, write down your questions. And I'll go through the whole thing because that's how you said you wanted it. Okay. All right. So here he's measuring from the surface of the water. He uses that to, to set up. You can see down here, there's the pegs on the ground there. He used to, to get the water as his datum to set up the target there. That's what that yellow and black thing is there. And here's the edge of the target where he's measuring it up with 1280. 
on that that um, measuring device. Now here's the other side where he did the similar setup. So he's on the shore there. He's not okay. in the water. Wait, write, write write down your questions, and then and then at the end we'll go over them. Okay. You can see he's got he's got these uh, sticks in the ground at this one as well, and he's setting them on the st he's using the sticks on the ground to get measurements above the surface of the water so that he can set his theodolite, the center of his theodolite, based on this, the uh, um, elevation above the surface of the water. Right? And again, mm -hmm. here he is. He's, he's measuring it again. This is, this is his theodolite, his wild uh, theodolite. So he says, the axis of the theodolite was consistently set up at the same height as targets for each new occupation of each stake. And here he's showing now this is this is the this is the yellow uh, target. He's showing that he leveled the target. All right, the target's his... on land, so I just don't I don't think that that we were we're, we're ticking all the boxes here. Okay. I'm just sorry. That write down your write count. down your questions, and we'll we'll get to. It's each not of a them. question; it's a statement. Well, write down all of your statements and concerns and and queries, and we'll go over them at the end because that's how you. I've already to do debunked it. it. He's on the land. That's done. He he's referenced. From the surface of he's, the water, right? So, but he's on the land, and one, both sides have to be over the water. Both sides. They have to. Not be, one. Both. Why do they have to be over the water if they've already been referenced to be an elevation above the surface of the water, like this? Here, see that? So he measured. The, see that? He because measured the we're height having of, to take for we're having to take his word for it, and that that's exactly what it is. Instead of putting two pieces in the water at opposite sides of the lake in the water and then give us the difference so I just, and I there's was, no way it could be different it's impossible be, it's silly it's almost silly to even discuss i just want to be clear you think that because the the actual um tripod isn't all three legs in the, the water, target the, the the no the the legs of the tripod you want all three legs of the tripod to be in the water and then use then use the water the the surface of the water to get the height. I don't know that you could put it on the land and then give us a and give us the height that it is, and we're supposed to just take that for his word. It has to be two things in the. Why wouldn't you take two objects in the, exactly the same kayak or boat and put on two different sides of the lake and see if there's any variance whatsoever and there, the, there can't and be that's it's a, impossible a, that's exactly what he did exactly 100 percent exactly what you asked for is what he did he used the surface no, of the not. water he's on the land he used the surface of the water as his reference point he has to use That's the surface it. of the water on the other side as his reference he point. He's did. not in the water. In fact, he did, and I can show. Uh, He's the, not the, in the water. There you go. You can see. You can see down there. Do you see the stakes? Let me see here if we can. He's not in the water. In. I'm sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't count. have it's to not be valid. the tripod. You're, you're saying the tripod has to be in the water. Is that, is that what you're saying? The legs of the tripod. It's got to be all... at the exact same height. It has it, to be you, at the exact same height okay. Does it over have to the be, water that the other side is yes, over exactly. the water. Yes, exactly. That's exactly and what he did. Do you see those he stakes? He didn't. He's got... Yes. Do you Go see ahead. those stakes? Do you see those stakes on the ground there that he pounded in? He used those to measure above the surface of the water. And then I'll show you this here. This is an important part of it where he has this level. There, this level here. So he sets up the level with the stakes there. And he does the Those thing. stakes are in the ground, not in the water. They're I not wasn't done. The I wasn't done talking, and there's no way for you to understand what it was that he did if you interrupt me in the middle of my sentence. Right? You need to not Go ahead. interrupt me. So he set out. <laughs> he set out the 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 stake in the water as well, and used the level on the carpenter the carpenter's level so that the surface of, or the height of all of the stakes. So some of the see the stake is in the water. It's actually stuck in the water. And he's not showing the other one here, but he uses those to, to yeah, get the reference point. So let me show you here. You can see this back one here. Do you see how that back stake is in the water there? Actually, you see that? No, it's, it's, do you see that, that, that back stake? It's not in the water just because it's wet. Doesn't mean it's in the water. No, it, it's, it's not in the, two points. It's, it's sitting in the over water. the water. It's it not is. even attached to the body of water in, in reality. Why does it have to be like, attached? And all it needs to do is be the same elevation above the water on both sides. 
And that's exactly what he did, Ryan. There is not two objects the exact same above the water on both sides. It's not. There's yes. not. In fact, there is. And they're attached to the land. It has to be. It doesn't in the matter water if they're attached the to the land or not. They don't have to be directly above the water to be the same elevation above the water. That's not how things actually work, Ryan. There's no necessity <laughs> to be directly above the water for it to be a measured. Absolutely, absolutely. You've you're, you've made a you've made a simple experiment extremely complicated to obfuscate the truth or to find. No, he maybe he's doing it because he's, he actually he's believes a licensed, it, which most people do. He's a licensed surveyor. You are not. <laughs> okay, what does that matter? He, I don't know what that his, matters. It is his profession. To do these types of things. Right. Is his profession is he is does he know about the curvature of the earth and science? I don't think so. He's a surveyor of land, not of water. So that's you know. All right. The, <laughs> the, the denial really is hard. All right. So let's just let's just be clear. That doesn't. It's he, sorry. It doesn't work. He, just like when. Yes, I, I, I know. You, you have a religious I position. Just showed you the buoy. I got it. It's you a religious position. You you you, I you reject you the everything. The You've made it clear. You've made it How clear. You're like it's just impossible over and over again. The That's buoy a, a religious, disappeared from the ground up. It's, no, it didn't. It it's a religious mantra that you keep saying. I get it. All right. So anyway, here it is. Here is the view through the theodolite across from from the theodolite. That's the same elevation above the water as the target. And there's two things on the other side. One of them is the GNSS receiver, and that's what you're seeing is the higher one. That's the one receiving the the uh, detailed and precise. Uh, positioning information from the satellites orbiting the Earth. And the other one that's a little bit lower is the target. And that target dropped from horizontal. So what was the variance? How, how much how much distance? All right. Then how much he, curvature did we get over the uh, surface of the uh, water, uh, which I'll is absolutely you. asinine. Well, but, there you go. That was your religious claim again. Right, you it's keep, not a claim. You keep, it's you keep showing your cards. You keep showing your cards. Well, every time, it's every not. time you hand wave demand that it's impossible, you've shown your cards that you have a religious position. I right, could so, not have a religious position right, about water. So he, it's impossible. So on, on on one side, so here here it is on one side, and here he is on the other side, and there's a little bit of. I can send you all this stuff. Okay, the just GNS like the buoy. Just a second. Hold on. Show me. You specifically you asked. Show me. You specifically asked for for the data, right? You want the data. Yeah, but he's doing variation. it from that. No, no, hold on. Stop. He's doing it all from the assumption of a curved earth. That's no, it's, it. No, it's That's not. That's where at you all. have to stop. If there's zero so assumption, what's he showing there? there's zero assumption about the earth being. Curving. Yes, there is, but the geometry that you showed me is is assuming what geometry of a curved did... earth. Right when he the same thing that you drew. Yes, that, that's the what the same this is thing. Here. The yep. vertical plane, right? That's illegitimate. That's not legitimate. Why why, why does not? it have to be so complex to just take two boats over the course of a mile in between a big lake and and just see if a laser beam goes? Like, why would it be so you should be able to do that? With your eyes closed and be 30 people, 30 videos of that. But there's nothing. It doesn't work. It's well, not right. possible. You this can't is, tell me. This is really precise. This this is the types of things that people pay thousands or millions of dollars for in order to be super precise. Right? That's that's the kinds of things that, that surveyors do. But here, you asked for the data. Here is the data. Actually, surveyors are for, for the, the, the lines in the in the land as well. So that's that's the majority of what it's well, there's, for. There's a but lot of things that surveyors do. Many things. The majority is for legal purposes, for the, the land. And whose land is where? That's basically the that's point. certainly it's not a lot to... of it. Yep. All right. So here it is. He took, he took from uh, six measurements. You got the standpoint, four-point elevation. Data, all right. He's got all these things, but he's he's he measured the angles here. So he's he measured uh, zenith is straight up. That zero degrees is straight up. So my problem, we got to stop. Hold Bert, on, just I'm, give me I'm, one time out. I want one time out. My you've problem had lots is, of is that we, we we're going into really strong into the depths of this experiment when you just disregarded a very simplistic video where that you looked out and you saw no cone. How come <clears> you don't admit? Because, that when you look because out, it just gone. got too small. But 
But why are you changing but, the topic? You specifically asked me to show you this, and now we're on this not, topic. I've, I've, I've would you like to? It's not. Would you it, want to? It's, it's you're not like, legitimate. You've I not don't showed care. Me what I it hurts my feels. So you want to go back to something else? Okay, I'll I'll stop. We'll, no, we'll, we'll I don't want to go back. To this back. One here. We'll go back to this one I here. I want you we to can... acknowledge. No, no, I want to. Yes, I will acknowledge that this is not being obstructed bottom up. I mean, I, I, if you look at the video and you slowly watch it, you could see the point of it at some point. You'll see just the point of that buoy. So it's not that difficult to understand. If you're standing there on the shore and you can't see something, and the whole reason in the past thousand years or 500 years they said you can't see it is because it's obstructed by the curve of the earth. Then fast forward to today, I'm standing there with no telescope, nothing. I can't see anything. And then all of a sudden, I take out a, a zoom camera and boom, it comes into focus. It has not been obstructed by the curvature of the earth. It's just our perspective and our eyes can only see so far. That, that's not how any of these of, things work. That it, it's, it's so logical that you can't accept so that you've been duped. You're smart, but you can't accept you've been duped. There is no plausible mechanism for what causes things to be obstructed like that. Yes, there are. Okay, let's stop. Okay, what are we, what, what's in the air everywhere we go? um water iron. is it not <laughs> water iron. okay so okay. then what do you look at the you look at the weather and they'll show you the humidity they're going to tell you what percentage of the air has the water in it is this not normal like understanding I, I, of let's science just, here to, to be humidity. clear what is humidity go ahead tell us what humidity, humidity is. is water in the air what type of water simplistically what phase is the water? water what phase doesn't matter it certainly does it doesn't matter. matter. What phase is the All water? All I know is that I, right, it's in right. the gas. What is it? Gas or liquid in the in the air? You, when they Both. give you a when they give you a, a measurement of humidity, is it both. gaseous water or or liquid water? It's both. not both. It's only one of them. Okay, well, whichever one it is, go tell me. No, you are the one that wanted to inform me about how air works and water works in the air. And you don't know whether humidity is uh, liquid you're or right. gaseous. And you're right. But you're asking me as to why I can't see something far away. And I'm going to tell you since you're no, so smart. But you're you going to say things part. that you don't understand, though, Ryan. You don't know if, if humidity is gaseous or liquid water in the air. It's liquid water. No, it's not. OK, there you go. Good. It's yes, gaseous water. Okay, and that's fine. Gaseous so, water in the air is is visible or invisible. It's going to be invisible to the naked eye, but there's other molecules in there. Oh, so it's not hum that it's are not going humidity. To make it okay, so what other than humidity is going to do it? So when you look down, I don't know. You're making what you what you're doing is making it really difficult for me to make one simple point. It's really simple, man. You got all this understanding of the science, but you, you're you're so smart. You think that you cannot be fooled at all when you know the globe Earth is basically the here's your here's flat your mantra. Earth. This is, is a, mantra. Here this it is. is religious mantra. It's just okay. That's fine. Don't it's don't the, give me religious mantra. Map. You you said you said I'm it's just not about explaining religion. Explaining something. You said it's not about it's religion. Not. So don't give me a religious right. mantra. Okay? okay. So explain to me how. Humidity makes things disappear. Okay. So if I was to play golf per se, if the humidity is high, the air is more dense. Okay. I can't hit the ball as far. Whereas if I go to a mountainous region and the elevation is higher, there's less humidity in the air. The ball travels further. So there's atmosphere, some type of medium in the air that's thicker than normal. So, okay? so let me, let me get so, this straight. You're saying that additional humidity makes the air more dense, not less dense. Yes. Yes. Okay. What's the molecular weight of uh, of uh, dihydrogen? You're getting me into the weeds. I'm not dioxygen. Going. I'm just going to make my point. I'm just going to make my point. I'm not interested. I'm either going to make my point. You're going to allow me to speak on my terms and the way I can talk, because obviously you know a lot more about the science. Um, you know names of molecules, and I get that. Obviously. That's not that's not what we're talking about, though. Does it is the you, air thicker when there's humidity? No, it's thinner. Yes or no? It's thinner. Okay. 
So <laughs> that figures the opposite of what science would tell you. No, but, actually, this right, is so what science why, tells you. Tell me and I'll tell this, you why. Tell me this, What's then. the molecular why weight of oxygen? Why does go a shorter distance then when it's humid as opposed to when the air is thinner or, as you say, whatever, you switch it around. But when there's less humidity, why does it go further than when there's more humidity? It, it, I, I don't know that. I'd love to see the, the measurements of that. But uh, the air is actually thinner when there's more humidity. We feel it thicker because it's just our feelings. But that's because because the, the air can't absorb more uh, moisture because and then we can't we it doesn't evaporate from us. And when we sweat. right, and that's why we sweat more. Why, why do we sweat more when it's humid? Be, well, we don't necessarily sweat more. The reason why is because yeah, it, doesn't do. e it doesn't evaporate as easily. And so it doesn't cool us down. Why doesn't as it much evaporate? Because the air is already near its dew point. Oh, so there's more water in the air then. Yes, We're back which, to the same which, point. which makes it okay. less dense. For reference, okay, that's fine. The molecular weight of oxygen is what? I don't know. Eight. I don't need to know. You do. I don't need to know that. No, I don't. Not for this. This is not you, as you difficult do. as you're making you it be. What's the molecular weight of nitrogen? The primary thing in, in right? Nitrogen is the primary thing in the air, right? Um, all right, so and what's and, and what's point, the molecular weight of water? I don't know what the molecular weight of water hydrogen. I know it's about seven point eight pounds per gallon. I know no, about the, that. The That's molecular weight of hydrogen is one, and there's two of them. I don't know what and this. The, none of this pertains to what I'm, I'm discussing. It, it absolutely I'm not, does. I'm not. It at one hundred percent. This is the science you talked about. Science. This is the science of the density of air, right? So H two O is water. So two hydrogens and one oxygen. Oxygen we've already covered as a molecular weight of eight. That's right, right? So the molecular weight of O2, dihydrogen, is 16. The molecular weight of nitrogen is 14. And the molecular weight of water is 10. So when there's more... Hello? more oh, when you're the, still going. <laughs> when, when the water... When there's, this is your point. When there's and you talked about it's science. not. I haven't even made my point. You're so when there's, you're so. You know what you call the other guy, kind of stuck up or you know pretentious, um, whatever the word pompous, pretentious. Pompous, That's the word. That's what you're being. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. All right. You know so I'm, I'm making there. a simplistic point. You're I'm trying almost to make there. some other just point. Just a second. I'm and, almost and there. Insult me with your knowledge about right. it. I'm, when I'm I almost there, buddy. Those specifics. Right. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So, so the, molec it's, it's the molecular okay. weight of 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 water is ten. So when there's increased um humidity there's decreased density of the air okay go ahead okay so objects move slower in more humidity it's a fact you can I, google it why don't you google it right now so we can get past this point because i know you like to do, get in the weeds do, and uh, slow someone do, down to make a really good logical point do and objects i need you move faster in humid air in no in dry air or in elevation like well elevation you're changes playing the golf. pressure right that's a whole different thing way way different if you're talking elevation do you get a lot of humidity in the and when it's higher elevation you get a lot less air pressure significantly different density do you get do you get usually high humidity where would in the u.s would you get high humidity At, um minnesota for sure in the in the summer minnesota that's where in I the live. summer oh it's okay humid here it is definitely humid okay here. yeah maybe in in the ozarks um but all right so all right so i, I got an article on, on quora and quora and quora is, is has the drag equation here so the drag is the coefficient times the density times the velocity squared over two times the reference area and so the density is what we talked about because the, the molecular mass of the different materials is going to affect the density. So that didn't work for you. Okay. So it's, but, it's completely factual. Oh my God. No, please don't. Okay, good. All right. So there something, else. something going on? Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> it's fine. I'm outside right. walking in my neighborhood. That's all. all right. Um, are so, they looking at you like you're the crazy guy talking? talking no, I told with my wife who will look at me like I'm the crazy guy. My wife would do that, though. That's what I thought it was. Um, all right. <laughs> all so, right. 
I googled oh. object move faster in humid air according to Quickie, and there's no results, Quickie. What the crap? Um. Oh, this is interesting. PhD Tony says golf balls deform and use aerodynamic effects, so denser air helps them obtain lift. Interesting. All right. So my point, simplistically, my point being, the more water there is in the air, then the more difficult it is to see an object in between you and the, the object you're observing. That's what we started with at the very beginning. Okay. So you, so you asked claim. me, what, what? That's just right. a claim That's not so a far. claim. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That it's not a fact not until a fact. supported with evidence. There has to be water in the air, no matter where we are. Yeah. And the more of it, just like if there's fog, you can't see very far in the fog, right? Is that water? What a fog is liquid water in air, not gaseous water in air. Okay. Okay. So that's the idea. The idea is that whatever you're staring at, you're looking through tons of water molecules fog that are in the air. Fog or gaseous air? Or gaseous water, because gaseous honestly, water you cannot see through. Ga ga you cannot. Uh, you can see through gaseous water. It's 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 as as easy to see through as oxygen and nitrogen. Okay. And clouds and fog are liquid water. They're droplets of water, liquid, in the air. All right. So how does something rust when you leave it outside? How does something how does rust? That we, we're getting into rust now. Uh, it's well, a chemical there's, reaction because there's water. There, yeah, there's a water in the, the air. It's the iron. It's the iron oxidizing. So, do things rust more in the desert, or do they rust more in like uh, South Carolina and Georgia? Yeah, they rust more in a humid environment. Yeah. Okay, so that that's very simple. So you you asked the question a little bit ago. That well, what's this? You know, what's stopping me from seeing further? And I'm telling you that there's always water in the air. So depending on where we're looking, we can only see certain distances depending on what the medium is that we're looking through. So I mean, so like, it's not really all right, complicated. So, so, to, so to be clear, immediately above the horizon, anything farther than three miles away is not visible. Well, that's what it states in an article from New York Times. You may say I, that ju I just want to be certain that you are saying that Anything immediately above the horizon, more than three miles away, is completely non. -visible. Well, obviously not anything as to why something starts to disappear from your sight when you're standing on the ocean side is because of the curvature of the Earth. That's what's. Has that not? Oh, am I crazy, or has that not always been told to us? Well, since uh, yes we were all and, born. Uh, two questions there: yes and yes. Okay, so. How come then now we can take those objects and bring right, them back hold on, into focus? Wait, wait, you 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 changed up from this this question. I really want to I make didn't. sure. I really want to make sure that that I have an understanding of this from your from your perspective. Is it is it completely impossible to see anything uh, immediately above the horizon more than three miles away because of whatever effects you're talking about? Well, the curvature of the Earth, and no, it's not no, no, what you, it's you, saying. You, it's saying you, that at that point, you're saying there's no curvature. That's sorry, the horizon. So, okay, so that's so what, you can see things. All right, so let's just be clear. You can see things more than three miles away immediately above the horizon. Well, it depends on how tall the object is, obviously. But wait, wait, but why does the height of an object affect whether or not you can see something because there's molecules of things in the air? Because the higher in the air you go, the less uh, water is in between you and the object you're observing. The less That's water. But, but we've already established that that gaseous water in the air is is invisible. Whether or not you can see the gases, it still obscures your vision. You're still looking through them. Whether or not you can actually see the molecules or whatever in the air, you're still looking through them. It's like putting on a pair of glasses that are dirty. You're still looking through them to your object, but but are you not? It's like look, it's like looking through a pair of glasses that are not dirty because they are not visible. Okay, so just like I've used as an example, when you're looking at a perfectly clear ocean blue and the shore, you're maybe five feet uh, from the the bottom, you can see down a beautiful blue oh, water inside the water. But 
you look from yeah. the surface down and you could see the, the bottom of the ocean there, maybe five feet and then maybe eight feet. It's a little, little more obscured. And the deeper you go, the more dense the water is in between you and the object you're observing and it becomes out of focus completely. Correct? Yeah, but we're, but is we're that not correct or not? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. But we're not looking through okay, water. So we're looking there, through the oh, air. Okay, so, yes, we are. Just stop, stop. We've already established we're looking through water everywhere we look. So sorry. Ga gaseous yes, water, are. not liquid water. And gaseous water no, is different we've properties. we've established that there. No, sorry. You just said fog, clouds. There's a million types yeah. of water that are in between. How does something that, rust? Well, we've there's two established types. that. There's, there's two water types the of air. water we've talked about. There's Any type two. of water is just all two. over the place just, and in between talked, me and the optic but ryan we've only talked about two types of water gaseous water and liquid water gaseous right, water so is in invisible south, liquid water is not right so in the south there's more humidity things rust more there's more water in the air therefore yeah gaseous you can water surely not liquid water well so why do things rust more in the south then is there not more water in the air yeah it's co called condensation when the, when the temperature changes, the dew point shifts. And when the dew point shifts, then the, the air cannot hold that moisture anymore. So it comes out of solution and, and condenses on things. But doesn't it? Okay, let's even go back to that's the, why the point of you guys. That's why the, religion. The, the, wa, uh, grass is wet in the morning is because of the dew point. Wait, it's, does it not make more sense based on your religion that we're I'm not, I don't have a religious position fish. on this. Yes, you do. Your as a heliocentrism is a religion. Evolution is a religion. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Let's let's call it for what it is. Let's be know. let's be why, adults why is, about this. Why is switching to to fish? What about fish? Because the point is, it doesn't it make sense if we actually came from fish and there there's water in the air. It makes more <laughs> sense. There's water in the air. Okay, so obviously we're looking through that water no matter where we are. Are we not? <laughs> Hold on. So that what is if, the re I'm missing the connection to fish. Well, I mean, we came from fish, so there's always going to be what my point is, is that no matter what, there's water in the air. We're looking through water every day, no matter where we look. Hold on a second. What, am, this, what, what, the, what are you, what is this fish thing you're talking about? I don't know. So didn't we come, didn't we, didn't we turn in to people from fish or something? Isn't that what you guys believe? I don't know. It was I just think, a, it was more of a funny I, I thing. Think, it was supposed I think to be more a, funny than there's, it there's, serious. But I, it was not really supposed to be that serious. It's kind of it was a joke. I got, I got the giggle. <laughs> okay. I, it's, I don't it's know. Funny. It's, yeah, I know. Do you, I don't know. You're just... All right. Why why does why does okay, the, I let's simplify I'll take your simplification that it was fish then people in the <laughs> That's the in joke, the my evolution. friend. Okay. My point was, is that there's water was, in the it, air. It some fish flopped out. You, Hold on. Some fish, I've made a good point, and you're not. You're you're you literally are trying to to, to oh, get man. away from it. I've made a perfect point. I want to go back to it. I do. I'm just no. This, I'm this not. Picture. It I've got this a, picture in my head. A fish comes out of the water, and there's another fish on the water, and they look into each other's eyes and like, "Hey, baby," and then they, you know, mm, and then. Out pops a, a baby human. Yeah, that's... exactly. Who knows to why you would think that happened? I don't know. I assume that that's what you believe, which that's... is crazy. I understand that. <laughs> I don't think anybody... it was more of a joke. Though. I don't think anybody believes that. Um, I don't know. Okay. Is, is okay. evolution Get... not teach me that we came from fish? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then we went two to fish. The, Remember, so two fish. They're like, hey, hey, baby, and then baby humans. Um, I <laughs> sorry. Go to your point. I don't think it was one to the other. The whole thing is pretty comical to think we came from animals. I, I get it. And and that was more of a joke. But the point being is that there's always water in the air. Okay. So how can you debate that, that we're not looking through water no matter where we look? Are you telling I, me there's no water in the air? No, I'm is, saying that the, the gaseous water in the air is invisible. Just like nitrogen and oxygen in the air are invisible. They're invisible just like a, a, a window is invisible, okay? So it's there, it's causing some type of um, change to your view, but not enough to notice. Once okay. it's enough to notice, at, then you'll, at three you know, miles. it will be like fog. Like at, at three at miles? A fog. It's got nothing to do with three miles. 
It's got something to do with no matter what we're looking at, we're looking through water at all points, at all, no matter where we go. So no matter what, as far as I, I can never look as far as I want to look, if I'm only 10 feet above the ground, you got to look straight up where there's no water. It's dry. Is it not dry the higher you go? Uh, the higher you go. That's you know. why we can see the sun. That's why we can see the sun. That, that's why we could see planes far away. How come we can see planes five miles up, but we can only see 2.9 miles at ocean level? Because of the How curve come of the that? Earth. Tell, tell me that. Curve of the Earth? What? The curve no, of the no, Earth. No, we've established. We've, we've established I showed you measurements of the curve of the Earth already. You didn't like it. No, no, no. But wait, wait. Have we not? So uh, are you telling me that if a ship is five miles out to sea, I can't see it? I didn't with say a, that. With a camera or I a telescope? The, the bottom will be uh, uh, increasingly obstructed as it goes farther out. And and no amount of zoom will change how much is obstructed. <laughs> so I, I've, the point right, being right, I told, no I told you zoom. yesterday. I told you yesterday. I've, I've, I've been doing this for a while. And I've asked yeah, but Betty. You've, you've, I've asked you've gone least, over my perfect points. I made perfect I've points. I've never once seen zoom change how much of an object is obstructed. Never once. So you're telling me that you could stand on the ocean, on the side of the ocean, and see a boat disappear, and you can't take a zoom camera and see that boat come back into view? 100% Are you really I'm seriously, saying that. scientifically? I'm absolutely 100% saying I, that, and, and, I, I, and I've friend, asked every single I, time somebody brings this up, I say, show me that video, and it's always the same thing. It's a little I boat. I just did. And and no, I just didn't. did. It's a little boat. It's something tiny, and it gets so small you can't see it. But it's never the hull is obstructed, the mid the mid deck is obstructed, everything except I'm the top sorry. is obstructed, I mean, and, then, and then and then because top it was a goes smaller object. Over. So it was a you, smaller object. Get, get, but get it that was very ship visible. and show it to me and show me zoom making a, a difference in, in how much is obstructed. So I gotta get some massive ship, but you can give me some twenty foot lake with a guy, a surveyor and some sticks stuck in the ground. It, and that's supposedly going to make you, it the was, burden it was, of proof uh, is so, so much more difficult. 0. 0.49 where you don't even, miles, actually. It wasn't 20 feet. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry. I've, it's been proven. Number one, number two, you haven't seen sitting uh, bodies of water convex shape over the surface that's that's illegitimate I mean, I just you got you stuff that. on the land you know you got stuff you. on the land that it doesn't have any value it's not scientific i'm sorry it's not it's not so, scientific it, it is it, it is actually very scientific but that's okay all right i mean i uh -huh. you know I, I unfortunately you're unwilling to admit on one point which is very obvious that the, the water in the air and the obstruction of view, depending on how much water's in the air, even though you know it's less water in the air, the more you look up, the higher you go. But yet you're okay. unwilling all right. to so admit keep, that. All right. I, I, all right, I'm will. I want to go through this a little more. Okay, so when you're when you're standing, just you on the shore, you can three miles away, immediately above the horizon, everything that's more than three miles away is is obstructed because of the moisture in the air. Right. Absolutely. So you cannot not, see everything's not obstructed. anything. No, of course. Beyond that's, three that's, miles that's away. Silly. No, what you're saying is, and what it's what I'm guessing it is meant by it is that it starts to disappear from the bottom up at two point nine miles. Yeah, and, and and I mean you you are you are asserting that the the molecules in the air make it so that you can't see anything more than three miles away. Okay, from science, from Time Magazine. Okay, this is Time Magazine article, and science. How far can you see? Monday, June twenty first, nineteen forty three. Okay, uh, Pan America Clipper pilots have found that most of their passengers have surprisingly hazy notions on how far they could see in the air. One passenger, twenty thousand feet above Brazil, insisted she could see the coast of Africa, eighteen hundred and twenty two miles away. To set such passengers straight and help military pilots, Pan Am's Clipper pilots have worked up a handy vision range table. At sea level, the curvature of the earth limits the range of vision to 2.9 miles. The formula for determining how many miles an individual can see at higher levels is the square foot of his altitude times 1.225. So clearly there's a little bit of admitting there that it does have to do with the moisture in the air, period. Where, where did they mention that? 
Well, they just said at altitude. Depending on your altitude, it changes. Okay, but they didn't it, say depending on the moisture in the air. They said depending on altitude. What is, and the primary thing that changes with altitude is pressure. Well, you can call it whatever it is you want. What is it? Does the pressure increase? When you the go higher high. you go or the lower you go? You don't know that? I'm asking you. Obviously, it's going to be the higher you go. But well, why is that? Gravity. Oh, magic. Gotcha. Okay. That's where we're at. Gotcha. I didn't think you were going to break out the word gravity here, but well, it's I guess you It's empirically are. confirmed. And, and it's, it's, no, fact, it's a theory. Have, I'm sorry. It's a theory. I, it's I'm called, sorry. it's actually called the law of gravitational attraction. No, they've and, changed and, it recently. I'm sorry. It's the theory. Th they've changed it recently. How recently? That's, I new. don't know. Last 20, 30, 40 years. I don't know, but it's always been a theory because no. it cannot be proven. It can't be proven because of its own definition. So I'm sorry. It's not, you don't it's not even valid. know what science is about. Of course, I know what science is about. It's about observation and experiment. You're talking about magic. You might oh. as well tell me Santa Claus and there's a great, you know, guy in the sky doing all this. I don't understand why you think that. I don't understand why you buy into that. I don't. I really don't right. get it. But let me just be clear. It is called, for a reason, it's called the law of gravitational attraction. That's its name. Saying no, uh but doesn't change it. It's still the it name can only it. be proven in a vacuum where there is no atmosphere and there's no there's nothing there. So the only way you can actually prove gravity is to create a, a environment that we don't exist in a vacuum. Well, so why I'm why sorry, is that that's why do you think that's the only way to do it? Um, I know that testing the uh, solar capabilities of an invention in a dungeon is just about as stupid as testing um gravity in uh the, the theory of gravity in a vacuum and saying everything falls at the same rate that's that's hilariously stupid okay that didn't that didn't explain it why why can it only be done in a vacuum it's all that's the only way you can prove things fall at the same rate okay i i'm at asking you to explain rate. why i'm not asking you to just say the same thing again okay what what what's the question the question is you <laughs> You said the only way to do it is in a vacuum. I'm asking why is the only way What's to do it? What's the other in a vacuum? experiment? I don't know of another experiment that proves things fall at the same rate. That's not gravity. Uh, Thing, things falling at the same rate isn't gravity. Mass attracting mass at, at a certain ratio is gravity. Things falling at the same rate is absolutely what gravity um which it, that's what it, what that's it, this it, proof of gravity. That oh, things dear. fall at the same rate, is it not? No. No, I mean, that, so things I mean, don't fall at the same rate? They, they do in a, in a vacuum. They do. But all right, let me, in a let vacuum. me show you here. Okay. Yeah. All right, here. Let me show you here. How could you prove? How, but right, did these, here, here you go. Just, just I, for I, reference. I see. Just for reference. Here I is, see where we're at. Here's hyperphysics. Hyperphysics is a. Is a hyperphysics. <laughs> all right. Hyperphysics is used by uh, educators all around the globe. Uh, and <laughs> here it is. This is often called the unitational, uh, universal law of gravitation. Gravity is a law. Saying it's a theory doesn't change that it's a law. Right? It is a law of nature. If you don't like it, then it is on you to show the falsification. Oh, it's buoyancy. Um, yeah, it's buoyancy then. Okay. Gravity is buoyancy and density. Oh, all right. That's I'm, it. I'm, Let's let's work through because that. Because there's water in the air. You just go back to the water. Whenever there's a question, you go to the water. There's water in the air. So it's buoyancy, why things sink, why you can jump. That's all Wait, it is. Buoyancy causes things to sink now? No, buoyancy I thought causes buoyancy things causes to things to, to go up. What causes things to go no, down? Density, density would cause something to sink. Buoyancy would cause something to float. It's the only reason anything. But why does a helium balloon float? Buoyancy, why is yes. that possible? Yeah, buoyancy. It's it's predicted by gravity. What? Why is a helium? Can you can you explain that one? Yes, it, it, the helium it's, balloon. Yeah, absolutely. It's predicted by gravity. But I'll, I'll, all right, you asked me to explain oh, how it. How is it? Just give me. You, you asked me to explain it. I'm yep. going to explain it, and then I'm going to predict what happens. You're going to interrupt me before I get done. You ready for for that? Am I going to be Am I going to be right on my prediction? All right, brand new piece of paper. Here we have. <clears throat> We have uh, the air, which has a certain density. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, don't know it offhand. We can look it up. Density of air, right there. We've got it. Usually, you well, really it would vary for that. Yeah, but but it in the vary. vicinity of a balloon, it's it's pretty consistent. It, but it does. You you can actually measure measure uh, within pressure with the a pressure barometer area. on your phone. All right. And we've got yep. I- inside there. We've got helium inside the balloon. We've got helium, and there's a certain density to that. All right, the density of helium. Now it doesn't matter specifically the numbers we use, but we do know that the density of the helium is less than the density of the air. Agreed? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So we've got then we've got our uh, downward acceleration, nine point eight meters per second squared, right there, right. Whatever whatever is the cause of that, it's just a downward acceleration. We use G in physics class for that, right? And then the density formula, do you know that offhand, right? Nope. You don't know the density formula offhand? Nope. Why not? I don't know the density formula. You didn't, it, all right, let's, it's, uh, uh, all right, we've got, It's um. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get what, the, what, the, the correct one. What I should have done. Go ahead. I'm. I'm fine. You, you go should ahead, have gotten what that video done. you said you were gonna get. No, not that. I did get a video that oh, proved sorry. it. Oh, boy, the boy didn't formula. take it. Right, you didn't take that, so um, that's okay. I should have set up something to where you had to try and prove it true, and we go into that. There that's what we should have done. That's what. That's the only way to do this. Is that I told you that when we spoke. Only way you could do something like this is to try right. and prove it true, there not it false. All right. I, I, all right, I've got it here. You got rho GV, right? That's the density for the buoyancy formula. Darn it, I keep saying. All right, so you've got rho. Rho is the is the the um, density of the air, right? So it's there. We've mm-hmm. got. G. You can't use gravity to explain gravity, though. I'm sorry, you can't use gravity to explain gravity. You can't do that. Oh, we're explaining buoyancy. Okay, good. Can I use gravity to explain buoyancy? No, you can't. It doesn't. It doesn't play. It. It's not. That's the point. See, oh, everything so, goes. So you back want to me to assumption. explain? You want me to explain something without use without explaining? Okay, <laughs> then I can't do it. Sorry, you won't let me. Oh, I I don't know how else to put it. I mean, you want to? We're trying to to discuss on how a balloon. You're telling me that the balloon is less dense and that the, the air in there is less dense than the air around it. Is that not the case? Uh, uh, you, you tell me. I'm but asking you, you, you is that the case? But you can't use density or buoyancy to explain it. It's your rules. <laughs> right. No. Well, it's simplistically, buoyancy is just something floating. And density is something, I guess, um, having more weight. I don't know. No, how weight else is, to weight put is it. a force. Density is not a force, so it's not quite it. Okay. Well, I guess then. What's, w- what's the SI honestly, unit? What, what, what's a unit for weight? A pound. There you go. And and what's what's uh, what's a unit for density? Um, I don't know. Surface area? I have no idea. Nope. It's not surface area. I don't have any. It's a relationship between its mass and its volume. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But it's just a number. It doesn't have a direction. Well, the direction would be the same reason why the balloon would flow. It's more dense than the air around it so it goes down if it's less dense it goes up i mean i can wow. i understand the whole physics and jumping and, and force but we're talking about something on its own either falling or floating and you don't have to have gravity for that to be the case you, you, That's still, need, it, you still need something causing the downward direction and specifically the magnitude of it okay well the air around it is 
less dense, just why something sinks in the ocean or floats. It's the same thing. Our medium is always water. We're always in the water. Yeah, I'm sorry, you, you can't get you, away from the fact we're always you actually in water. Can. You actually can get away from water. No, you can't. You're always in water. There's always water in the air. In, Period. In, there's that you can't in, get around that. In a vacuum is chamber. Is there not always water? water in the air? In in, in a vacuum chamber? Of course. Water? That's that there. There we go. Thank you. We're back to the vacuum chamber. Thank you. That's the only way you can prove it. No, That's it. No, it's not. You just had to go back to it because you had nothing else because there's always <laughs> no, water in the no, air. No, it's, it's it's That's it. I uh, you were just asking for where you can where you can be where there is not I'm water. S- I, in a vacuum chamber bro, there's no I, water. That's it. Right. That's it's, my point. That's why it only works in the vacuum chamber. The theory only works in a vacuum chamber. Two <laughs> objects only fall okay, at the same rate so in let, a vacuum chamber. So let's chamber. get this clear. So things go things go down or because <laughs> There's water. The same the reason air. why something sinks. Why? Why couldn't the same it be because why there's something oxygen sinks. in the air? Because there's oxygen in water too. I mean, in the ocean, there's Look, oxygen. Why can't? Do I put why a couldn't it be ball nitrogen? Water and it sinks. Why couldn't it be How nitrogen? How come I put a bowling? Because we live off the water. That's it. We live on a planet with seventy percent covered with water. We're seventy percent so? water. So you can't this... get around any science without water. There's more carbon. The point is still made that if you take a, a, a bowling ball, drop it in the water, it goes and sinks. If you take a, a piece of plastic and you put it on the water, the water's more dense than the objects around it. Yeah, all, I mean, all, you can't perfectly, get around it. all perfectly described by, by gravity. The problem is no, you, you, you don't, st- but the, you could eliminate gravity and you still get the same result. No, it wouldn't go down. Gravity is, is the cause of it going down. So without gravity, there is no it force. won't go down. Yeah, gravity. Gra- there's yeah. no. Yeah, gr- gravity cr- no creates force a force. Needed. The yeah, object is. itself is you, its own force. No, it's not. that's it. Yeah, it is. The <laughs> object like... itself is either more dense than the air around it, or less dense than the air around it, so it'll float, move up, or go down. It's wait, really wait. that simple. You said the object itself is a force. It has the ability in the water to have the force. Yeah, because the water's always around it. We're standing in water. We walk around in water where water's everywhere. I don't know how hard that is to understand. But there's oxygen everywhere too. Why can't it be oxygen? The properties of water prove gravity bullshit and the glow bullshit. And the properties well, of water what, always I will go back to because where, it makes where sense. Where can I see in a physics book the properties of water that you speak of? Or is this just made up stuff that you heard from somebody else? There's nothing made up that I heard from anyone else. This is completely logical. What you're talking is extra nonsensical stuff to get to the whole, you know, gravity, ball, earth, all spin. Oh. I mean, it's to uh, imagine Ryan, that. The Ryan, world... all right. So I have a question. So in Minnesota. Um, oh, hold on a second. It's, oh, oh, hold on a second. Well, I've got something. I've got something more important. Just a second. Just a second. This, this is this is a special thing here that we're, that's coming right here we go people look at this you see this Ryan too this Hold on. I made I made an excellent point I'll look at it but I've this is point. I think this is a pretty important point here um yeah uh, our puppies both of our puppies died within a couple weeks back in like March and look what we got this one here this well, is this is a, a half poodle, half schnauzer. So it's a schnoodle. And people, what do you think is the get the name? Guess is for the name. So our our one our, we have a cat named Raccoon, a cat named Turtle, and Turtle spelled spelt with the silent P, of course. And so what's this little little guy's name? I don't know. It's not gravity. I'm not following the joke. There's no joke that so we, Einstein. We, no, that's a good name. Einstein's a good name. No, no, the the hair isn't crazy Newton. enough. It's not por- porcupine. It's not cat. It's not Snoopy, monkey, turkey, penguin. Helio. Heliocentric television penguin. got it right. Oh, wait a second. You knew that he. <laughs> I told him so. And penguin. Oh, by the way, you, penguin you... is spelled with a silent T, of course. At the beginning, so there, there it is, little girl penguin. There it is. I She's... understand. 
that you, go. Right, you can't you can't get to a point where you can admit or even see the logic in it i get it i do and it's kind of silly of me to try and debate with a religious person because that's basically no religious what this position is. on this you i i, I have a do. good understanding of physics okay i took it in in okay. I took physics in, in high school I'm, so I'm I, sure, oh, I was I'm gonna sure ask you did in minnesota physics is uh, um optional in high school um, and where you where you live, I, it, I, I imagine it probably is too. Did you take physics in high school? Um, no, I didn't take physics. Okay, that no. might have helped you. I, I studied law. I'm 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 on the law side of things, so I All don't right. really, I haven't really delved too much into the science other than when someone told me the Earth was flat. I thought he was full of shit. But instead of just telling him he was crazy, I said, "How could you even think that? How is you that even?" You should have gone with that other version. <laughs> Right. Well, who was it that I told you? you? Who was it that told you? Uh, I don't know. A buddy of mine who worked for me. And uh, so I looked into it for about two years and it took me two years to get to the point where I'm like, OK, yeah, it has to be. Logically, it has to be. So, so I who, understand who is it? it's uh, it, too big of a leap. It's probably Eric Dubay. That's that you, you probably is your main. No, influence. it's a buddy of mine that I knew. Eric Dubay is somebody that that talks about it and he also talks about how hitler wasn't that bad so it's kind of a, he's kind of a wacko when it comes to that well, but good, good for that uh, good for you to recognize that yeah <laughs> yeah well i'm a jew so that would also kind of oh. you know be a problem for me so i just i get that you if you were really interested in seeing how it's possible so many people could think that and you would have to get to the point where you say, okay, let's, let's say it's true. Let's see if we can prove it true. Because that's all I did with the globe. And it seems to me that what you've done is I've had too much education. There is, there's no way I could have been duped. It all makes sense. There's no way. So you've tried to just prove it false. And of course, if that's your objective, you're smart enough to keep proving it false. And, and that's just the way it's going to be for you. So I understand there's only some people who are willing to say, okay, maybe everything I thought was bullshit. Let's see if it can be proven. And, and I don't think you've done that. And I understand that you know more about a lot of this stuff with the science, but you're, you're still not getting around the logic of it and the possibility. And if, until you can say, let's see if it's possible and well, wipe I've, out whatever I've, you're preaching. I have done are. that many then, times. Then it's, Absolutely. It's then it's real science. That's real science. Yep. I've done that. Absolutely. I hypothesized that the earth was flat and then measured the elevation of the sun. And I did it with several people on the same day and we all got different elevations. Well, the, the sun can't have different elevations simultaneously. Didn't work out. Okay. So that's really pretty simple that you're on different height lands i mean where you are i don't understand what the well it show, and show the me sun, the geometry wait, you have to peg it show okay you have to peg also okay all right then you have to also peg it with the the model that has been known 500 years ago it was uh pretty much known as to how it would be if it was flat do you even know how it would be if it was flat how how what do you have any be? idea how, how would, would the be? earth, the sun, how would the sun work, the moon work? So before really any I've debate been asking done, flat earthers for four years how the sun and moon okay. works, and so, none of the explanations passed the sniff test on the very first try. So what you've done is just explain to me how you didn't do it by the scientific well, method. Because show if you would me, have show me how the sun okay, works. Okay, I'll then. tell Go you ahead. the sun and the moon are on a circuit and they go around. That, that doesn't uh, tell me Earth. how the sun works yet. Tell me how the sun works. I'm not how, quite sure what exactly how, you mean by how, works. Yeah, the, I understand. The sun and moon go on a circuit. I've, I've, I've been around this for four years. I've definitely heard these things. I've seen all of okay. the different models, all of the different attempted explanations. So I can hypothesize that the Earth is flat and then measure the elevation, how high it is in linear feet, miles, kilometers, how high it is through middle school geometry i can apply it's actually an application of perspective and see how high the sun is 
using. How could you simple, measure something you can't touch on the other side? Easy. Just How can you apply, measure something that you don't even know? But your stop, so your it can't be perspective because you don't know what the sun is. You don't even. You have to assume. Say, well, assume then it's a light you in the tell, sky. There's nothing. You tell physical. me what it is then. If if I don't know what it the is, the sun and the moon know, are are. Well, tell me, what is the, the sun? most logical thing? The most logical thing: the sun and moon would be lights in the sky. Okay, One that, is that, a light. That, that's just a vague okay, hold on. set of words. Hold Give on, me I'm, the I'm, actual science. You the, you say you want science. Give me the scientific explanation with empirical evidence for what the sun. Okay, is. so so just kind of like evolution, you have no clue on how that works. I do know that the moon puts out a light that is cold. And the sun puts out a light that is warm. It is complete opposites. That's why the temperature is cooler in the shade at night than it is um, outside the shade. It would be cooler at the light of the sun than it would be away from the, uh, I'm sorry, it would be cooler from the light of the moon in, uh, in the direct view of it as opposed to in the shade of it. It would be warmer in the shade as opposed to during the day in the sun you're cooler in the shade. See what I'm saying? It's been tested. That's been tested. The temperature <laughs> is cooler. Ryan, I right? personally, I personally did that. In a okay, well-controlled well, scientific, in a well-controlled scientific experiment. <laughs> and you know, well, let me guess. Let me guess. The sun, That's the moon, true. other people got a different thing. Moonlight but... makes things warmer. No, that's yes, actually it's not that yes, I've done it. You see this? You see right here behind okay, me. Okay, I've done it. Do, do you see behind me on the uh, this little magnifying glass back here? It's not little. It's it's a good size one. Um, I I also shined that on a thermometer and left one in the direct uh, moonlight and shined one more focus moonlight and the focus moonlight made it two degrees warmer. Okay, well that's not what I've gotten. Other people have gotten so. Once Typically, again, what, it's what just happens like the is, video, is flat earthers it's just don't like do the a video. You're since, not willing yeah, to accept just, anything. You'll yeah. speak your way out of it. Just like the video. It showed Ryan, you what I told Ryan, you, but you don't believe it. I mean, you, you didn't take physics class in high school. You didn't take science class. Does it doesn't matter to, to see a buoy. When, hold on, hold on. When you, no, no, we're talking about the moonlight. Talking just, about the moonlight. Shh, hold on, hold on. But you, you're not you admitting anything. I don't believe you. Hold on, Ryan. You 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 don't know how to construct a scientific experiment with science. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. I, I'm sorry, I don't believe I, you. I understand that you don't you don't have the 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 background to know how to do a scientific. You don't need the background to put out a thermometer in the in the shade at night and in the direct moonlight. I don't need any yeah. schooling but to do you, that. You do because you don't know how to control for <laughs> conflating variables. Right, I hear you. Exactly. I hear you. All right. Well, um, I I have I have another one at eight o'clock my time, so a half an hour. I've got some questions from the audience. Would you Would you uh? Take some questions. Yeah, I'll take a question if it's not like some bullshit question. All right, I'll I'll try to skip over. If it's those. not like oh, you know, you know, do you float at night or something stupid? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna right. do that. No, I no, just can't believe you just discounted the video with the buoy. I don't understand Dude, how you send can me see that one. and then not send, admit. Send me a good. If one. I send you a good one, and you don't put it on there, what what happened? Nothing. I'll, I'll, I don't understand. Dude, yeah, I don't I mean, get why you wouldn't see that. I, I don't can, understand how you could reject that. I will. I will gladly. About, I don't get it. I'll gladly do it. You send me that the the best. You take you take your time. You find the best one where there's a ship and it's undeniably showing the chain. It's really crisp and clean and a good quality video, and you can see the hull being a obstructed none and then a little and then midships and then just the top of it is visible and then completely gone and then zoom and it all comes back i want to see that i will do yeah, a video on okay. it the i will video completely I cover it close to that but, on on my uh, uh, my i have another channel with uh with fifty nine thousand subscribers called conspiracy tunes i just put a video out on there today um <clears throat> so that gets a lot more traction than these videos so if you want that you send that to me and i will cover it on that channel guarantee so all right Judy Bassett says Ryan is not going to listen. All right. Okay, that's not a question. Might have. Might have uh, all right. And uh, I see Spin says he started with his finger on the trigger. That's not a question either. So okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> Stringer News one. So the Earth is only flat if you're in a boat. 
Holy special pleading, Batman. That was about the the uh, the theodolite and the target needing to be above the water instead of the land, even though it's measured. I above. mean, I just feel like I've made points and you just uh, re it refute clear evidence of a video. I just don't understand, but okay. All right. Uh, Dave Kircher said, sorry, folks, all surveying since Noah's flood has been officially debunked. <laughs> no, it, it, Noah was there, but it wasn't Yeah, his. no, he hasn't debunked it anything. He's his on two flood. pieces of land. He's on two pieces of land, so no, he's perfect surveying of the land. Good job. All right. Um, your your microphone went... Hold on. Your microphone went weird there. Indie Tiger's yeah, well, because... sci-fi review said, Ryan, surveyors do hydrographic surveys to establish the height of the water. Do you understand that? It's, it's still not a question. Do you understand that surveyors do hydrographic surveys to establish the height of the water? I don't know. No, I don't know that. Okay, well, they do. Maybe they do. So I don't see what it matters it, when it's on the land, but go ahead. Next one. All right. Um, Matto311 says, the test won't count unless you're barefoot. You can't allow for that extra elevation. It's a little okay, smarmy, again, isn't it? There's no questions. There's no questions. Right, I'm looking so for far, some. I've heard nothing. Uh, oh, here we got. Why kick a mook house? Says, is Ryan from Poland? That's a question. I mean, it was, is it though? Is uh, it pertaining to the subject it, at hand? It's a yeah. Um, three news once is if it's made of wood, then it floats. If it, if it's a duck, then it floats. Therefore, a duck is wood. So you've got a, a whole bunch. You, so you told me four hundred, five hundred people are disagreeing with me. They're all trolls. They don't. All they're doing is, is your cheerleaders. Good job. That's uh, not any questions. Ooh. Whatsoever. Eight hundred. They're people. cheerleaders. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking for a quick. Eight hundred. All right. Uh, <laughs> they just troll, and that's all it is. He, I, I know. King, I, King Cruz says, I "How many times it. did Ryan redo first grade?" I think maybe maybe that was not maybe old. That Tes wasn't a question. Yeah, I, I make uh, you know, eight hundred thousand a year. So there, Tesla there you go. There's bit your first grade says, says, says Ryan, "I'm sorry. Where did the math hurt you?" That's a question. It's a troll question. Um, they're all trolled. They're, you've got nothing I but know. trolls in there. I, you're right. Uh, all right, here you go. Ian Dust is sweetie. The universe is a complicated place, and it's under no obligation to be simple for you. Wanting oversimplified explanations for things means you're never going to understand them. Not a question, but that was a. No, nope. was it? You, wasn't you have so to have smarmy. one inquisitive person. I swear, you know what this is? This is like flatter trolls. So you get somebody who's like, okay, I'm going to debate. And then you go in there and make some points. You refute them, basically just saying, "Oh, your video is not good enough." And then they come in there with a bunch of insults. It, it's it's literally it's not scientific. It's not even a legitimate debate. At the end of the day, you haven't conceded one thing that I, is that I, that I made that was logical. It, I'm sorry. No, you didn't make. I read a I Times mean, gotta, article. I read gotta, a New York Times article. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. That the, 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 the it said that the Earth curves. I mean, well, I I don't have any problem with that. Um, but you can't. You could see further than that. So you can. It's where? facts. You could see further where? than that on the surface of the uh, on the on the where? surface of the uh, on the shore. Where? You didn't show that. I just showed it to you. I showed you a video. You would not accept it because it was a buoy and not a ship. Even though if you fast forward and go back, it disappears from but, the bottom up. How, you just don't want to admit it, and I don't know why. But it didn't. Ab it didn't obstruct it, from the I bottom up. I don't understand. <laughs> Yes, it did. If you watch it in slow mo, you can't go fast. You watch it in slow mo. It definitely from the box saw it. it I'm, I'm sorry. Frame? That's that's the my eyeballs. It's four work. pixels wide. What do you mean, dude? It's so obvious. All right, we've got. I've got I'm a sorry, question, dude. It's almost I, right. like I've got a serious question from Daniel Cooper. If a triangle has sides one, one, and one, what are the internal angles? And how does his uh, bagel bites taste in his mom's basement? I could ask him that too. You wanted a question. You got a question. Um, let's see. Here's from Paul uh, Arsenault. Maybe this will this will be. It's, this is to the point. It says using Ryan's logic, if Zoom brings back a ship, the same sh should work in the vertical plane. So Zoom should bring back a person hiding behind a tree. Call the military. Once you'll again, be rich. troll. That's all you got, to trolls. That's it. You, they've but, already. But, there are, there's no science in this room. That's applying your logic. There's no science in the room. Ryan, that's applying your logic. There are a bunch of trained logic. monkeys. 
But Ryan, There's how no is that different there. than your behind logic? A tree, because a it's, tree, it's obstructed really? behind something. Yeah. And so Zoom should make you be able to see it. Right? I don't know, man. You know, you should, you should need the 12, you know, 14 cents out of the dollar you make out of this stream because... I'm just being subjected to bullshit, and I'm I'm I've actually been a good sport. You have, I, I've, I've actually been a fucking good sport. Absolutely, I agree. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Is that it. I've Is got that all we got. Because I, I said I, I would mean, do it. I've got a lot. And here's I sent one, you a video. Here's one from. And, and I, I really want to see. Still, I really want to see that other video of a ship. I bet nice you I sent clear. it to you and you're going to tell me why it's not what you I'll do a say. video I'm on sure, it. But I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. I said I was going to stream. I did stream. I'm going to All right. Your connection is so starting to drop. So you way out of that one. I don't know. You will. I, I didn't hear you. Hello? Your connection was, was, was going crazy. Okay. So I said that I'm going to do the video. I okay. did this live stream and I, I endured it. So I'm going to get you the video, and I want you to put the video on one of your channels and admit that you can bring it back into, into view. It does disappear from the bottom up and reappear from the bottom up. I, I, yeah, you'll be the first to send it. I'll be excited. Ernie I'll, Matthews I, wonders. I'm pretty sure I sent is, it already, this is but a I'll serious do one. one. Ernie Matthews wonders, how does celestial navigation work? Uh, but they, they, the stars are in the same place every night. No, they're not. Same time of night. The nautical almanac. And they know where to go. The nautical almanac details the actual positions of them and how they're different every night. That's the point. They're different in different times of the night. Different times of the night. No, actually, no. They actually move. Different different locations. Yeah, different locations. Not right. Different locations that you're at, but if you're in the same location. The stars will come to the same position every single night at the same time. Actually, no. That that's what the nautical almanac is is pa- tables, ta- page and pages of tables of the positions of the stars in their different locations for every day of the year. Typically done in about three days per, uh, or four days per. So how much do they vary? They vary like uh, you can't even notice the difference. They they vary over the depending on the star. Some of them move several arc seconds per year. Some of them less. Okay, arc seconds. So basically, pretty close to the same place. Okay, okay, but, but not the same place. And, and once over again, the, and over the course of many like years, something like the sun and the moon. Just because you can't explain what something is, doesn't mean a fake explanation with the correct math is is that you've made up is the right answer either. You don't uh, know what the sun is. That's uh, not we do. a uh, fact. PhD Tony wonders, uh, this is a, a serious one. We can use neutrino detectors to track the path of the sun. It goes behind and under the earth. How does Ryan explain that? It doesn't go behind and under the earth at all. But it goes neutrino, out of your sight. But the neutrino detectors disagree with you because they can get the direction. I don't know what a neutrino from. detector is. There's nothing that proves that the sun goes down over because you could see the sun and the moon at the same time during the day as and predicted on the globe it just goes now here's a question it if just goes if, out of if, your sight if the all. sun if if the sun just goes out of your sight can, and and goes completely out of your sight and it's gone obstructed bottom up no more sun visible can zoom bring it back it can bring it back to a certain point of zoom can't bring everything back there we go back to the water no, i'm between, just just asking uh, just just the, the yeah, one in between second. you and the object so the second yeah, after the sun is I've got completely videos obstructed. That. I'm going to send you that too. Hold yes, on, hold. I want to be sure. Is completely obstructed. I've seen zero video, sun visible. I don't know. Zero. On, I, don't know I want to be certain. I under. Oh, I, I want oh, I to know. be very hold clear. On. Zero hold sun on. visible. I, know. I don't know if it's seventy-five percent, fifty, or a hundred, but 100. I've seen it go 100. down. Okay, I don't know. I will have to look. I I've seen that, that but I don't know if it's a hundred. Okay, not 100. I don't know. If, I don't know why it would matter if it's fifty percent, and then you could bring it back. I don't know why that would matter either. Well, if, what if would it matter can, if it was fifty percent, and you could zoom you, back? How would because that matter? you claimed that things can be completely obstructed by the horizon and then be zoomed back. So if that's true, then the sun 
must be completely obstructed by the horizon and then be zoomed back as well. No, right? I let's see. Hold on. That's whoa. That doesn't mean that it has to be completely obstructed or else it hasn't gone over the horizon. Are you saying then when you see the sun go down and half of it's gone, it's not going over the horizon? I'm saying I'm saying on the globe, it absolutely I'm, I'm is being you. obstructed by the horizon. Yeah. You put a solar okay, filter so on I that camera so you're not if you put a solar filter on that camera so you're not confused by the glare, then the the sun is obstructed bottom up and no amount of zoom will bring it back. Okay. Well, well, I'm going to send right. you that one. Too. I, have, I got two I, videos to send you. Absolutely. But my, what it will be, I'll tell you what it will be. It will be no solar filter and it'll just be glare and it won't be obstructed. It won't be gone. It, it'll just be changing the amount of zoom and the size of the glare. So all right, Wait, I've what got kind a of bunch. science is that? You already know. I've, I know. I, I, I've seen them before. I've been around the block a few times. All right. I've got a bunch of other things, but you're not going to like them. <laughs> you can stick around, but I'm going to read them. Um, I'm, I'm good. I appreciate it. I okay. think we, I think I've done my due diligence here All right, yeah. and, uh, thank you. I've, I've honored thank you, my Ryan. work. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk. Yep. I'll, I'll email right. you and we can figure it out. Yes, oh. sir. We All will. Right. Okay. All right. Bye. bye. All right. Well, I <laughs> got a few, few of these nerd alerts is Brian. You said you studied the law. Do you have an actual law degree or did you study the law like sovereign citizens and first amendment auditors do? I, I can tell you that, 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 uh, best I can tell he, he is not just making up stuff about his career. I'll just say that. So, all right. Three news one says, do you know the ocean has a bottom without looking? I was back, back at the early part of it. I don't know. <laughs> He wasn't interested in the questions. Um, Serena News 1 says, let's bring in Austin Whitless, who says that it's solid ground terra firma that's flat, or one of uh, one or more of them must be wrong. Man, he, he did, he, like, it's not enough to be measured above the surface of the water. You have to be actually above the water. What a, a wacky goalpost move uh jss tiger for five dollars says you're insulting him with your smart smart stop doing that all right i'm kind of, just so you know i'm talking with david De, oh, darn it i want to get it wrong to hisler i think about relativity totally different type of conversation i think um i think he's 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 pretty bright he's next it's it's in, in about 15 minutes um He's pretty bright. He knows his stuff on, on relativity and and has different ideas for it. Not based on, best I can tell, just not based on uh, wanting it because like flat earthers want other things to be the case. So I have to invent reasons. Anyway, stick around for that one. Um, <laughs> RT96, do cold posts move farther, further in humid air? They never, they never do. It's always funny. That they don't know that that moisture is in the air is is gaseous and that it actually decreases the density, decreases the um, re index of refraction. They 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 have no clue. Brendan says objects not equal light. This is about optics. They don't know. <laughs> he 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 saw where I was going when when he's like um, when I'm like well. If things are obstructed bottom up, then nothing should be visible immediately above the horizon. But he's like, oh crap, there are things. I have to invent some way out of this. They're farther away. Wait a second. Why is f farther away would make it worse, not, not better. Sure News 1 says, hello, fish sent me. Now for the secret fin shake. Yep, the fish flops up on the land. Another fish flops up on the land. Hey, baby. What's up? A fully formed human pops out. Tim Pryor says he needs to catch up with the other flat earthers. Most don't claim that you could zoom in on boats anymore because they've been proven wrong too many times. I found him in comments on a, uh, a video somewhere. And I'm like, will you defend that in a in a... Live debate, he said yes. So I, flat earthers in comment sections rarely say yes to that. He did. So good for him for, for that. 
Uh, JSS Tiger altitude does uh, equals water. Apparently. Two. Yes, altitude equals no. I... Oh my gosh! Like he thought, what is like water is everything. Apparently, like if you go to higher ele elevation, there's less air. No, screw the less air part of it. There's less water. All right, Serena's so one. They changed it recently. That makes your citation from 1943 invalid, doesn't it? Heist, hoisted by your own petard, you are. He said heist. Uh, Paul Arsenal, there, using his logic of vertical, vertical. Actually, that's not because the, 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 the tree, right? The being hidden behind a tree because he says it's flatness, right? So by his logic, if you stand next to a wall and somebody else is next to the wall, they can't see you from a far distance. That's apparently the... F Need to expound on that one. Need to find a three foot mo mile, three mile long wall. That might be hard to find. Um, <laughs> David Brock says, I'm in my office, elevation about 200 feet. The sun just went down and I can't see it, but the 4,000 foot tall mountains east of me are still in sunlight. Can you explain this? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> that that's the amazing thing. Like there's no he's the, he he pretends that he likes science, but you could tell he he, he would he kind of retreated into his his religious positions. Um and and he's a uh, he re rejects evolution, so I'm going to take it that he's a young Earth creationist as well. So that's religious position i got friends that are young earth creationists they're they're silly um ableist says why are you so angry right <laughs> i didn't think he was quite that angry um let me make sure that all right because the, these i i track i track in in if this and that and that grabs the super chats and puts them into discord for me to read but it doesn't get the member chats. I didn't want to miss them. So that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at right there. It's right there. I'm looking at it. So I don't want to miss them. Tim Pryor says, sorry, the earth being covered with 70% water is a globe thing. Can't use that. Exactly. Because the numbers would be significantly different for flat earth. Because I guess, you know, their map is all goofy. Oh, but we don't need a map. Yes, you do. Somehow navigation happens. Tim Pryor again says, and if you believe the earth is covered in 70% water, then you have to believe it's been measured. Therefore, we know the shape. That's a good point. Indie Tiger Sci-Fi Review says, Ryan, Galileo used ramps and objects of different mass to first prove that objects fall at the same rate Barring air resistance, no vacuum involved. That's true. <clears throat> that would be, it's a little bit, it's a little complex. And of course, none of these flat earthers ever took any physics classes. So to present something, I kind of have to bring it down to a certain level for them. Because um, it doesn't, it doesn't help to, to show detailed measurements of something that's way over their head because i i want to show them at their position their understanding level so anyway weebo metalhead is a new member at buzz aldrin thank you for that uh i did like his rust thing. <laughs> yep ableist says ryan wants everything to be simple he doesn't know anything about science but darn it he will tell you how things are Absolutely. He wanted to tell me all about why things are obstructed bottom up due to water in the air, but didn't know that moisture in the air was gaseous, not liquid. He actually thought it was liquid. So, well, I mean, he learned something today. He learned that the humidity is gaseous water and that fog and clouds are liquid water. There you go. Now, I, I'm going to guess that he missed the dew point part of it. Um, I do remember in middle school 
either sixth grade or seventh grade where we did like we we did our own dew point measurements and temperature measurements that's when i learned dew point and and it was a at the time it was when i got it i'm like oh, that makes sense that's cool uh string news one says i studied law equals <laughs> got arrested and went to jail that string news one that is full troll good job full troll i don't think to be clear um i've emailed him and i i i i, I didn't say his last name at his i specifically asked do you want your last name said he said no because he's he's not he's not unemployable like most flirts and so uh, maybe he will maybe he'll recover and then he won't have a whole bunch of internet junk to cover up uh tim Pryor says he he literally has measured the earth you watched youtube videos for two years <laughs> I measured, yes, I measured the shape of the earth and he watched YouTube videos for two years. Sarun is one says, you can't do that. I made up a rule. Yes, he did. Gaming with both hands. Wow. So this guy's making SOM look smart. Oh. SOM. He he's like, he wants he wants to come on here. So about a month from now. About a month. Get ready. C P C three P hole says Ryan, do you float at night? I wanted to ask him that so bad. He's he wasn't gonna like that one. Tesla bit radio. Uh, where I'm sorry, Ryan, where'd the math hurt you? Uh, I want to get through these quick because I got this this next one coming. It's gonna be good. Soon is one question for Ryan: Do you sleep when you float? Again, troll, total troll. Delcos says, when using very small parts and large end effectors on industrial robots, we can detect gravity horizontally. This is a known issue. Please explain. His explanation would be, he doesn't know anything about that, but it's definitely not there, not real, because it, because he says that it's not possible. Miles Wilson says, you don't need science to understand flat earth. A degree in psychiatry is much more useful for that. Oh, the subtle trolling there. Real Cygnus. <laughs> Ryan, what is your favorite flavor crayon? I think people upped their troll game when he started doing that. Doublehead Steve has a um, chat with no message. It might have gotten caught by YouTube, but... Uh, or maybe it's a, a sticker. Thank you. Thank you for that anyway, Shovelhead Steve. Tesla Bitten Radio again comes in for $6.66. Says, Ryan, when aligning microwave antennas with over, 25, with over 25 miles, why do I have to account for the curve of the earth with my azimuth and heading? Um, probably water in the air is the answer. Um, Logical Hillbilly says, you're only here for us to laugh at and to make MC2 money. I mean, I do it. I, I do it as a hobby. I see. I have. I I, I do appreciate the money, um, but I do it as a hobby and um, I, I do enjoy doing it. I really do. Um, I tell you, the, the books that I've bought, bought a lot of books. Um, the hard drives that I've bought, I just bought, had to buy a third 12 terabyte hard drive. Three 12 terabyte hard drives. And I'm going to be upgrading my computer soon. That's going to be a, that's going to be a bite. Kiras says, uh, Ryan, do you consider yourself an expert in geometry, surveying, physics, optics, geography, and astronomy? Of course he does. He knows, he knows all of those better than the professionals in the field. Shellhead Steve says a globe Earth is not debatable. True. That's why I put it in quotes. I think even on this this the, um, the thumbnail, I put it in quotes. Pat in the chat says, Hi, Ryan. If you're a practicing lawyer and can't understand the points MC Tune is making, go get a refund for your bird law degree. So I would I, I can say that um I don't think he's a lawyer. Um when he said he studied law. I suppose I know that what he does isn't directly involved in 
uh, legal matters. Um, and uh, I would say he probably does well. I'll just say that. Um, Ernie Matthews asked how celestial navigation works. And his answer is, the stars are in the same position every night. Until I pointed out that they're not, and that's the point of the nautical almanac. Then, oh, well, they're almost in the same position every night. Which doesn't tell us how celestial navigation works. <laughs> Virilian says, Ryan, what's the refractive index for ice water and vapor? For ice, oh, there's no comma, ice, water, and vapor. Um, for water, I think it's about 1.5. I don't know ice offhand. And vapor is very close to 1. All right, um, I don't know that. But uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think Ryan would know any of those, even, even in, a, in any relative position. Um, and ice, I don't know. I think ice is probably a lower index of refraction than water. It's just a guess, though. That's my intuition on that. Plastic Citizen says, can you provide any peer-reviewed scientific-based literature, not videos, with appropriate citations that can be viewed by chat? Of course not. Of course not. He couldn't even find a ship going over the horizon being zoomed back in. And of course, it, his one thing was a Dubai video. All right. Hey, who's updating the wiki on this? That's Ryan from Georgia. That's all you got, Ryan from Georgia. Um, somebody go update the wiki. His pop up blurf definitely is Dubai. Uh, PhD Tony says, My apologies for pestering about talking to him. Hey, I get it, it would have been fun, but I, it's difficult, especially when I have another thing coming up. PhD Tony, listen to the next one here. You might have something to say, in you might want to have a future a meeting with the guy coming up, but anyway. Difficult to change things in the middle, right? He agreed to talk to me. I, I don't like changing that. Then and they, you know, anyway, Steve 6464 says, so Ryan Zoom can only bring things back. What is the criteria or can only bring some things back? What is the criteria for what can come back and what cannot be zoomed back? Even more to the point, what's the plausible mechanism that makes that ha makes Zoom do it? If if water in the air stops you from seeing it, why can Zoom undo water in the air? Makes no sense. All right, I'm going to have to go here because I've got this other one coming. Um, I hope you like the puppy, the penguin. Um, and uh, so, all right. Ooh, we're, we're cutting it close. But all right, everybody, thank you very much for coming. Uh, be sure to stick around. This should point you to the next one. And uh, we'll see in just a couple minutes talking about relativity.